What's up everyone and welcome back to the Oval Town Career Mode Season 2 Episode 17. Now in the last episode we went 6 points clear at the top of the table. We are playing unbelievable. So let's hope we can keep that going today. Now look at this shit, right? We have a home game against Shrewsbury, which is the first game, on the 23rd of December. And then two days later, which is Christmas Day in the game we play Fleetwood. Do they even try and make these days realistic here? I can imagine just how the conversation went at EA. Should we make the game days more realistic in career mode? Nah, fuck it. That's literally how that went. We're playing on fucking Christmas Day against Fleetwood. So if anything like this has ever happened to you in your career mode, leave it down below. I want to hear from you. But we will jump over now to the table and see how far we have come. Look at this though, lads. 54 points. 6 points clear of Rotterdam. All we have to do is keep winning. We can officially afford to drop points. But do you know that's just not happening, lads? We only have one loss in this whole season so far. Brilliant, brilliant start. So the first game of the episode is against Shrewsbury. You can see at the bottom of the screen there, they're just hovering above the relegation zone, which is perfect for us because I think we're going to have to play like a weakish team, half weakish team because we only played two or three days ago against uh, Scunthorpe. So that's not too bad. And then the big game of today is on Christmas Day, as I said. Fifth place, Fleetwood Town. They're on 35 points. They're nearly 20 points behind us, 19 to be exact, but they're nearly 20. So they seem like they're close, but they actually aren't. We're way ahead of everyone. Okay, so just before we jump into the first game of the episode against Shrewsbury, we have four emails to attend to. Kevin Dawson has accepted a contract and Ryan Dixon has accepted a contract. And then Nicholas Smith has returned from injury, so he will sit nicely on the bench for today's game. I probably won't play him just to give him a bit of a rest. And they also have a player conversation. What's this about? A transfer request from Ryan Dixon. Boss, I feel that my career is being wasted by not getting games here, so I want to be placed on the transfer list and try my look elsewhere. Wait now, wait a second. He comes with this, and then two seconds later, he just accepted a contract. So he goes, yeah, I'll accept your contract, no worries, I'd like to play for you, and then changes his mind fucking three seconds later, and then hands in a transfer request. <sighs> you can't win with these guys, you just can't win. I will put him on the transfer list because he doesn't really play in all fairness. He plays on the weakers. He plays on the weakest team. So he gets the odd game every now and again, but if he wants to go, he wants to go. So let's check the squad for this home game against Shrewsbury. So just going in to look at the squad now, I can see my full strength starting eleven there is absolutely wrecked. So I'm just gonna play my um So I'm just gonna play the weakest team. We have Zoko up front, Braun and Can out the left and right, Cop Lawless Lee in the midfield. And the back line is usually the same then. Dixon, Baker, Lacey as well, and Madison in goals. So Dixon does get his game today. It might help him out a bit, but it looks like he wants to go. So there it is, lads. First game of the episode at home, Shrewsbury. It's finally nice to realise that we actually have a bit of wiggle room now at the top. We don't have to win every single game. The pressure is kind of off a little bit. But we still are going to try our best to win this game. Oh, now they're in the box. Oh, it's, oh, Baker gets a nice little chest on it. Oh, I forgot Baker was playing. He's in the starting 11. Why is he on the, oh, the weakest team? I didn't know that. Damn, I should have had Mugby in there. Oh, they swing it in. Nice ball, though. As well, he surely has that one. Gets it straight to one of the Shrewsbury players. They shoot. Madison gets a good save in, though. And they shoot. Oh, Madison makes a decent save. And we keep it away from a corner. Get in. Come on, cop. Oh, referee. Oh, that was actually a good tackle. Knocked out back in it now. Decent play. Now we're gone. Can. Can into Zoko. Oh, come on. Keep coming with the can. Gets it back into him. Oh, sees a good run by Cop. Oh, bad pass, but gets it to Braun. Can Braun swing it in? He does. Defender blocks. So we get a corner just on the brink of half time. Can Braun swing this in and get a goal from this? Two and a half bars. Keeper comes out. Nah, oh, keeper's ball. But we still have it. Kyle Cop finesses it from outside the box. Oh, that looked like it was going in for a second. That's the end of the half. We are probably getting destroyed. This weakest team is playing dreadful. I don't know what is going on. We have one shot, and that was the shot you've just seen there. They have three shots, three on target. They are dominating this game. We need to get our heads out of our asses in this second half. Come on, Braun, now. Let's do this, boys. No one's making any runs. Can. Playing in the center, attacking midfield position, even though he's a right winger. Lee, hit that for the crack. Oh, keeper works, and we get a corner. Can Braun swing this one in? Three bars. That's a good cross. Keeper stays in. Defender clears it. Can, can turn him. Yes, he does. Gets it to Zoko. Zoko hits it. Oh, what an absolute goal. What the fuck? I only hit that for the crack because I knew no one else was going to make a run. And Zoko pulls it out of the bag. Just in 51st minute as well. 
the 51st minute. What a start to a second half. Look at that. Holding up play. Pass it to Zoko. Zoko doesn't even need to move. Easy first goal. We are winning 1-0. Zoko sees a nice run. But to Lawless, oh, Lawless just forgets to take the ball. He forgot he was even on the pitch there for a second, I'd say. Oh, decent, Lacey. Now we're, on, now we're on the counter. Get that to Zoko. We get it to him, but it's a fucking reckless tackle by Shrewsbury. Come on. Oh, they're holding up nicely. Oh, that's a good block by Lacey. They get a head in, but Madison comes and collects. 73rd minute. I am going to make a few substitutions just to give people a run. So who does not play here? Wilson doesn't play, so we will bring him on for cop. Dykoff doesn't play so we'll bring him on for a brawn and that is about it everybody else on the bench plays there so there's the only two subs I'm making let's hope we can see this game out and stay top of the table Zoko wins a header what the fuck oh decent run by Dykoff only on the pitch oh what was that oh gets it again though can he finesse it no good that was a terrible turn by Dykoff what the fuck man oh they fuck it up Zoko oh free kick god damn it I thought we got an easy goal there Oh, sees Cam making a nice run down this right wing. His stamina is goosed. But can we do it? Gets the ball into Zoko. Now we're one on one with the keeper. Can Zoko finish? Oh, he finishes a harder chance than that. And they keep it in as well. That's pretty good defending from Shrewsbury, I must say. Last minute. Shrewsbury look like they mean business here. Let's not get... Oh, it's a good cross, but it might be too far. We need to close this down. Oh, they fuck it up anyway. They do our job for us. Yes, end of the game lads, our weakest squad wins 1-0 just about, we did come out a lot better in that second half though, so it did work out well. And of course, the only goal of the game was from Zoko, so he gets man of the match, and Can not far behind him, I presume, yeah, Can got the assist, he gets a 9 rating. Everybody else played pretty decent, the two players who came off played a 7.4 and a 6.9, so not the worst game, but we do get another 3 points on our way to promotion. Okay, so there's one day until Christmas Day. We are officially on Christmas Eve in this game. So what better thing to do on Christmas Eve than do a bit of training? Okay, so what I've done, I've just changed it up a bit. I've put the youth academy players that really don't get much game time and I've put them all through a hard training session, try and get their stats up as I'm waiting until January to put a few of them up on the loan list so they can get the game time they deserve. So Hall gets chance creation, Braun gets beat your man, Dykov gets key possession, Wilson gets El Rondo, and then the 93 man, 93 potential man, Henriquez gets one on two defending. Let's see what we can do with that. We get a stat upgrade. Wilson goes from 48 up to 49, and he's nearly on 50 already. Unbelievable training session, except Braun. I kind of don't know why I threw him in there. He only played 90 minutes there. But fuck it, it's done. He got an F. What can you do? So now Christmas Eve is over, we move on to Christmas Day, and what more would you want to do on Christmas Day than travel all the way down to Fleetwood to play an away game in the league? It's perfect! Okay, we are back to our full strength starting 11. Emery Moore is up front. I put Cerny out the left wing, as you'll see in a second, because Thomas needs to go into that centre attack midfield position, because our only two centre attack midfielders are Braun, he played the last game, pretty tired, and then Schmidt isn't fully fit yet, and I don't want to risk him another injury. So Thomas moves on into that centre attack and midfield position, as he can play there. He's a left winger or a centre attack midfielder. So that is all good, and then the rest of the team is basically the same. Actually, I see Baker there, I forgot he played the last game as well. So we are going to throw in Mugabe, because he is fully fit and ready to go. Last game of the episode, away to Fleetwood on Christmas Day. It's part of the job, lads. You have to work hard to get somewhere in this league, and we're going to do it right now. Let's go! So as you can see there, Preston have moved up into second now with a game in hand, and we are nine points clear from them. So if they drop points again, and we win today, we could potentially be nine points clear by the end of this game. Let's go, lads! Decent. Oh, they shoot! Oh, Savar made that look too easy. I thought that was going in. He made me fucking shit myself there. Thomas turns back, sees a load of space in the centre. What can we do? It sees back left, Cerny making a run. Oh, he stops his run. He was going to be onside if he didn't stop that as well. Oh, what did he do? Fleetwood playing it around the back line like they're winning 1-0 in the Champions League final. What is going on today? We're definitely aiming for a cross here, but Aina does the job. But they end up getting the cross in. Oh, I thought Cerny was bet for a header. They have it on the edge of the box. They shoot. It is just wide. They have kept possession for the last at least 15 minutes of the game. It's actually impossible to get the ball off them. They're really playing well. Fleetwood, free kick just outside the box. Well, not just outside the box, but it's a good position. They take a free kick. They oh, it's not even close. We ain't going 1-0 down just before half time. Oh, it's a good play by Fleetwood. They're in a good position to shoot. They hold it back. 
Oh, down in the box. Oh, Saumi cleans it up. Don't come near Saumi's box like that looking to score. That's the end of the first half, lads. It is a very, very boring first half. Fleetwood have just kept possession for their lives. I don't even know what percentage they've had. Let me check the match facts. They've had 67% possession with three shots. They didn't even have a shot on target. But then again, I can't really complain because we didn't do anything in that first half. What is going on? I'm going to have to really ramp up the pressure and try and get this ball as quick as I can in the second half. Oh, they shoot. Oh, their first shot on target. The first shot on target of the game was in 50 minutes. Oh, it's a good start to a game, isn't it? Has to turn it back. Oh, no one waiting on the edge. And even if there was, he wouldn't have been able to pick it out. That's a terrible ball. Terrible ball. Is there a minute to Emery Moore? Sees a good run by Thomas. Thomas on his left foot. Hits it. Oh, too slow, but we still have it. Back into him again. Thomas on your right foot. What can you do with it? Oh, that has to be a corner. I don't even know what to say to that. He hit it with his right foot. And not only was it not on target, it went out for a throw. Oh, brilliant tackle, Zimmerman. And we are gone. Come on, Zimmerman. Keep going with that. You're faster than him. Keep going. Keep going. I get the f pass in. Back left, Cerny. It's all you, man. Back left, Cerny. And one more. Yes, we still have it. Thomas. Oh, fuck. We got closed down. Back up to Thomas again. Thomas just hit that in your left foot. Thomas hits it. Oh, smashes it off the bar. Can we swing it in? We do. Back post header. Nothing. Oh, fuck it. We were so close. Oh, shit. I slid in. Now they're one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. They shoot. Oh, not even close. We get a good block in those. There's three minutes left. It's looking like we're going to have a nil-all draw today. I'm not too happy about that. They'll probably score this corner now as soon as I say it. No. We got it good. We got it good. Come on. We need to get this ball. We need an attack of our own. Surely a goal kick. They keep getting corners and everything. They've got the luckiest game of their lives. They're a bad team for finishing. They just can keep possession like a motherfucker. Can we go with this? No. Vaclav Cerny sitting out there picking his nose. And now he's gone. Come on, Vaclav Cerny. Oh, he's far too slow. That's the end of the game, lads. Nothing I could have done about that. Nil all draw. Terrible, terrible result against Fleetwood. They were all over us the whole game. We had two shots. One on target with 38% possession. Not even close to good enough. The highest rated player there was what, 6.8? No, Thomas. Thomas, Mugby and Saunmi were the best players on that pitch. That sums up that game perfectly. Terrible result. So we come out of that game, we've won email. It's a press conference for the next game. So we don't need to worry about that. So let's check the table and see how clear we are at the top of the table. We're only seven points clear. Preston now are our nearest rivals. They have a game in hand as well. We're seven points clear. So if they win that, it's gone down to four because of a stupid nil all draw not very happy about that but what can you do we need to come back the next episode and we need to win our two games to get distance between us again that is the end of the episode lads if you enjoyed it don't forget to drop it a like leave your uh, bad dates for career modes down below like i just played a game there on christmas day for fuck's sake come on fifa get your act together leave them down below and i will see you in the next episode